Hi everybody, this is Steve. Uh, good morning and thanks for joining this webinar where we're going to be looking at uh, the Unity CRM integration. And uh, this is a product, it's, a, it's an integration that's available for Salesforce.com, uh, MS Dynamics and Agile CRM at the moment. And we have a roadmap uh, for a number of CRMs that are in development now which we'll cover off at the end of the session. So just as a vehicle for sort of showcasing this new functionality, we're going to be looking at a live demo of, uh, of Salesforce. So uh, let's just uh, sort of recap the agenda for what we want to show. Um, as I mentioned, we've got, um, you know, we've got integration with Salesforce. Hopefully we're going to show you that we're going beyond just simply screen popping and doing click to dial. And in particular, we're actually having a really tight integration with the user, uh, Unity interface, uh, particularly from a call center uh, point of view. So we're actually basically profiling any calls coming in and out of both the call centers and for users uh, and performing a lookup to see not just if they're a contact in Salesforce, but also if they're set up as a lead. So um, I think at this point, I think what we'll do is we'll just jump straight in and we'll do some, uh, some live calls. Firstly, to talk about the setup of how the CRM integration works, it's an add-on to an existing Unity license. So any version of Unity can have it, and it's an add-on. So on the current version of Unity, in the settings tab, you'll see that there's uh, this is available for all users. You'll see a CRM option here. And uh, the setup is very straightforward. It's basically simply a drop list to choose, this, to choose which CRM platform it is. Dynamics is not listed here at the minute. Um, and like I say, in this example, we're going to be showcasing Salesforce. And of course, the, the, you know, the menu option has changed depending on the CRM and how it works. Uh, Salesforce, of course, uses security tokens. So basically, it's easy to set up. Any existing users now will get a 14-day trial. So even if they've got a permanent Unity license or they're just uh, downloading a trial, basically, it's a separate 14-day trial for the CRM element. And it's full functionality. It's not limited in any way. So how we can configure the behavior is that we've got, um, we can include contacts, leads, etc., uh, from Salesforce, and we can automatically add a call logs. So that's journaling of any calls inbound and outbound. So we're automatically gonna be dropping that into the, um, the Salesforce contact record. So we're gonna show that. Um, and then we've got some, some screen popping, which I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna turn this off at the minute, actually. Um, and I'll come back to that last. So that's basically popping, popping the Salesforce contact when a call's delivered to me when I pick up a call. Okay, so. Here we are in Unity. Um, so what I can do straight away is if I'm doing a search. So the contact search in Unity, of course, looks up the, the group directory and um, any personal contacts and everything else. But now it also profiles um, Salesforce, as you can see. So this is a Salesforce contact. I can right click and I can pop up the record. And so this is the guy in Salesforce or I can make a call. So I can just double click or drag this call up here. So this is gonna basically open out a call from my extension to my Salesforce contact. So I'm gonna take that call. So when we set up in settings a moment ago, we turned on automatic call logging. So that's the journaling. So one of the things I have got, which is, a, which is quite a key win, is the ability to edit this journal. So I can just go in here and go edit the, the entry. Um, Call in to place an order. That's what we want. Okay, so that's what the call's about. Fantastic. We'll drop the call out. Now, if I go back and look at this record, if I look at the top call. So this is automatically journaled it, as you can see, and it's calling to place an order. And I can also see that the call was received from the contact. So, which, sorry, the call was received from me as the user. So I've made the call out. Now let's reverse that and just take an inbound call. So what I'll do is. We'll take a call in. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take a call in and I'm not going to answer it. So it's going to be an abandoned call. It's going to be a missed call, rather. So my mobile's just making that call. So the Salesforce, the Salesforce contact is calling me. There it is. And now I'm going to hang up the call. So there's a couple of things that have happened here straight away. Firstly, you'll see that I've got a missed call. So my call logs, I jump in here and I can see straight away that it's a Salesforce contact that's missed me. So I can just drag the call up to make the call back, etc. Now if I right click from the, uh, the call logs here, I can also look at the contact. And now if I drop down, I can see that the latest call event was actually a call that was made from the contact, John Daniels, to me, Steve, and it was an unanswered call. Okay, So that's how the, that's how the journaling works. Um, so that's hopefully quite tight integration. Uh, and also how, how it works with the call logs. 
Um, <clears throat> that also extends to the abandoned call. So I'm running a Unity Supervisor here. So anybody that's running Unity Supervisor Enterprise and is using the abandoned calls feature, so that's that's basically capturing a list of all calls that have abandoned into the call center. As you can see here straight away, um, it's, it's appending that information. So if it's a Salesforce lead or it's a Salesforce contact, naturally, you know, you're going to want to assign that for callback. I would have thought you want to prioritize those callbacks to those missed, missed calls from leads. Um, Equally, if we take a call into the call center, as I mentioned, I'm a supervisor in this example, and if I take a call into the call center, this is uh, this is how this is going to play out. This is using the calls and queue feature. So there's only one call in queue here, you can see. So it's previously abandoned, it's queued at position one. So there's a call coming into the sales team, and it's from a Salesforce lead. So imagine there's a whole lot of calls stacked up here. As the supervisor, you know, I can promote that call. Clearly, you're going to want to promote calls that are, that are leads, recognize leads for the business over ones that, that are not so. Uh, or you can, of course, send it to another queue or send it to a specific agent. So that's the integration that we've got, you know, that, that's, that, that with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the call sender. Um, okay, so let's drop that call out. Um, okay, so now we uh, are back to, let's go back and find our Salesforce contact here and just uh, show how click to dial works and it's really as simple as clicking the number. I've clicked, if we look at my Unity, there's a call's gone off hook, the call's going out, there we go, we've got the call set up. Okay. So the other thing to sort of say is that um, this click to dial <coughs> excuse me works on all numbers on all browsers I mean it's, it's configurable but it's simply click the call to make the call go off hook um, yeah. um, okay so now we're going to look at some inbound screen pop so what I'm going to do is go back to unity here in my settings so if I go back into there's a couple of things to look a couple of things to look at here CRM so if I go back into automatic pop I'm basically going to want to take it, it I can Every time I make a call, every time I answer an inbound call, I want this record to pop. So what's going to happen is that um, this is configurable behavior in as much as what I'm going to be doing here is as soon as the call comes in, the user doesn't have to click anything. I'm not clicking anything. It's just going to pop the browser straight to the record in front of me. It, that is, this is toggleable in terms of you can, you can uh, click the summary notification. Um, and it can be configured in a few different ways. The other thing as well, actually, um, I might just uh, turn off popping yeah you turn off popping of unity so I haven't got two things popping at once so what's going to happen I'm going to take a call in now from this record and um, it's basically just going to pop the page up so we are opening a call up from the uh, Salesforce contact once it starts ringing take the phone off hook and there we go there's the record um, I think really in a nutshell, that that's covered um, covered how the functionality works really. So it's pretty tight integration, goes a long way beyond click to dial and screen pop, and we're also integrating here, as you guys saw, we're integrating uh, with the uh, abandoned calls and missed calls and everything else, and calls and queue for the call center. If there's any questions on how that works, if you use the uh, toolbar on the right hand side of the uh, screen share, you can uh, open a question up. And what I'll do is uh, just while we're waiting for those to come in, uh, we'll just sort of uh, give you a heads up of what we've got coming later this year. So to recap at the moment, we've got Salesforce.com, MS Dynamics, and Agile CRM. And as you can see, these are the ones that are um, in development for release this year. Um, and uh, once we've got these, I think we're going to be sitting across about 90% of the deployed CRMs in the UK. Okay, we've got a few questions. Does it work with Salesforce IT? Uh, it doesn't work with the basic uh, Salesforce, the starter. It works with the developer or the enterprise. Uh, I'm not sure actually IQ, if I'm honest, I'm not a Salesforce guru myself, but it doesn't work with the, the, basic, the basic Salesforce. One of the things you can do with if you've got a very basic Salesforce is, um, is we can still do some integration. So let me just go back and explain how that works. So, um, uh, so, um, what we can do is the click to dial works from any browser. So if you've got the basic Salesforce, you're still going to be able to do click to dial. In terms of um, the inbound, what we can do is you can use the um, browse to URL feature, um, which is which is in here, and you can basically put in the the server address for Salesforce, and it can do a lookup on an incoming number by appending 
uh, a placeholder uh, in the string here, which is which is for the inbound contact number, use contact number. Um, so we can expand on that offline, but what I'm saying is, is that we can actually perform a lookup, a sort of a backdoor lookup if you like, within Salesforce. It won't pop the contact record, but it will perform a search within Salesforce. And of course, the, the, the number is a unique identifier. The CLI is a unique identifier, so typically that's only going to record, uh, sorry, it's only going to return one matching contact. You then click it to open it up. So uh, hopefully that answers that question. Okay, and if this integration is supported by your versions of Unity, does this mean it works? Not Mac at present. No, it's Windows versions at the moment. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Well, if you've got any questions, please uh, follow up with your account manager. Um, and uh, thanks for thanks for attending the session. Cheers and bye bye.